arithmetic unitary method the method of finding the cost of one article from the given cost of some articles and from this finding the cost of required number of articles is known as unitary method for example if the cost of two pens is six rupees then what is the cost of four pens look at the solution cost of two pens is equal to rupees six then cost of four pens can be written as six by two into four two threes or six three fours or twelve twelve rupees therefore the price of required number of articles is equal to cost of given articles by given number of articles into required number of articles a ratio if two like quantities are compared in terms of how many times one quantity is to the other then the comparison is called a ratio the ratio between two quantities is denoted by is2 what are like quantities the quantities which are of same kind are called like quantities for example Lata and Mary got 22 and 25 marks in the second unit test of mathematics. The ratio of their marks is 22 is to 25. There are no units for ratio. It shows only a ratio between the two quantities in terms of numbers. To simplify a given ratio, divide both the terms of the ratio by their common factors till we get relative primes. For example, 10 1 is 10, 10 4s are 40. So, we write it as 1 is to 4. If the terms of the ratio are fractions, multiply the terms by the LCM of their denominators or cross multiply the two fractions to write in terms of whole numbers. For example, 5 by 6 is to 2 by 3. If we cross multiply, this can be written as 5 into 3 is to 6 into 2. So we get 5 3s or 15 is to 6 2s or 12. If we cancel with 3, 3 5s or 15, 3 4s or 12 is equal to 5 is to 4. Percentages. The fraction with 100 as denominator is called percentage. This is the symbol for percentage. For example, 25 by 100 is equal to 25%. To convert a fraction into percentage, multiply the fraction by 100 and keep the symbol of percentage. For example, 14 by 25. This can be written as 14 by 25 into 100. 25 fours are 100. 14 fours are 56 percent. To convert a percentage into a fraction, first remove the symbol of percentage and divide it by 100 and simplify the fraction. For example, 65 percent can be written as 65 by 100. 5 13s are 65, 5 20s are 100, so 13 by 20. To express one quantity as the percentage of the second quantity, divide the first quantity by the second and multiply the quotient with 100%. For example, Sumulata secured 60 out of 75 marks in mathematics. What is the percentage of marks she got? Here is the solution. Mark secured by Sumulata can be written as 60 by 75. So we have to write like this 60 by 75 into 100 percent. 15 fours are 60, 15 fives are 75. Again 5 one is 5, 5 twenties are 100. Now we multiply 4 into 20 is equal to 80 percent. Therefore, Sumulata secured 80 percent marks in mathematics. 
Now let us find the value of required percentage. For example, in a cricket match, Ramesh made 40% of 255 runs scored by his team. How many runs did Ramesh score? Here is the solution. Runs scored by Ramesh is equal to 40% of 255. This can be written like this. 40 by 100 into 255. First cancel the zeros. Now divide the number 255 by 10. We get 25.5. Now multiply the number with 4. We get 102. Therefore runs scored by Ramesh are 102. Profit and loss. Traders buy and sell different types of articles. There they get both profit and loss according to their business. Now let us know what is profit and what is loss. Profit. Selling price minus cost price. Selling price. The amount for which article is sold is called selling price. Cost price. The amount for which article is bought is called cost price. For example, a shopkeeper purchased a ball for 15 rupees and sold it for 20 rupees. What is the profit? Look at the solution. Cost price of a ball is equal to 15 rupees. Selling price of a ball is equal to 20 rupees. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. So 20 minus 15 is equal to 5 rupees. So the profit is 5 rupees. Loss. Cost price minus selling price. Loss occurs when the shopkeeper sells the object less than the cost price. Loss and profit can be changed into their percentages also. Therefore, profit percentage is equal to profit by cost price into 100. Loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price into 100. Average to denote a single value as the representative of a group of some values is average. It lies between maximum and minimum values. For example, find the average of first five natural numbers. For the solution, first five natural numbers is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sum of natural numbers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 15. Number of given natural numbers is equal to 5. Now let us find the average. Average is equal to sum of quantities by number of quantities. That is 15 by 5 is equal to 3. We can also write average of first n numbers is equal to n plus 1 by 2. Data application. What is data? The details collected for giving required information is called data. Data can be represented in two forms. Number one, representation of numerical data through pictures is called pictograph. For example, look at the table. Game, number of students, picture. Cricket, 15, tennis, 20. Hockey 28. Representing data in the form of bars is a bar graph. For example, show the graph of flowers plucked from Sai's house for 4 days. We can show this as Sunday 8 flowers, Monday 6 flowers, Tuesday 14 flowers, Wednesday 10 flowers. Points to remember. Price of required number of articles is equal to cost of given number of articles by given number of articles into required number of articles. 
the division form of a is to b is a divided by b and fraction form is a by b 2 is to 3 is not equal to 3 is to 2 profit is equal to selling price minus cost price loss is equal to cost price minus selling price percentage of profit is equal to P by CP into 100% percentage of loss is equal to L by CP into 100% average is equal to sum of scores by number of scores sum of quantities is equal to average into number of quantities number of quantities is equal to sum of quantities by average